okay? Okay? Okay. I'll talk about uh, vision accessibility. I'll send an accessible version of this slide to the accessibility in list. This is uh, the overview. At the end, I'll give you my contacts because I prefer to receive the right questions because my hearing is not perfect. So maybe I could not understand your question. I'm Alfonso. I come from Italy. I am a SUSE committer. Anyway, I usually create uh, projects from scratch in my repository from uh, the kernel to the user interface. This is uh, a super technical talk. I'll describe uh, the problems and uh, the roadmap with the new features and the uh, possible solutions. Vision implement uses asking mailing lists, forum, social networks, how to use FreeBSD. In particular, Linux uses uh, Ask Where the documentation for accessibility is, and uh, after they can continue to use uh, open source assistive technologies. But we haven't got uh, documentation for vision accessibility, and uh, open source tools are built mainly for Linux. I'll describe a roadmap to provide a starting point for vision accessibility to uh, allow vision implement users to use FreeBSD. The task is a new project in uh, tools, ports, and documentation, and adapting the projects for Linux. Thank you so much uh, to the FreeBSD Foundation for sponsoring this work. This is not a medical talk. Uh, disability, including uh, vision disability, uh, is a spectrum. It can be permanent, temporary, situational, and uh, vision impairment at different types and different levels, mild or severe. So we will see some screenshots to understand the problem, such as uh, colorblind, loud vision, and blind uses, tackle using a computer, and of course, for BSD. We will see a lot of images. Colorblindness. Oh, sorry, okay. Colorblindness. Uh, this is an example of uh, colorblindness. The image of the top shows an image in a full color perception. The first image at the left button show a red green color blindness, center both a blue yellow color blindness, and the last image no color perception. This is another example of uh, color blindness uh, with some medical words. Anyway, what's the problem? I use our website to describe the problems, but I don't know if. Uh, our websites are, are accessible or not accessible. I am not a web expert. Anyway, this is our git.freebsd.org with normal vision. As you know, we use uh, colors to represent a different information. For example, uh, a text in green is a new file, a text in red is a deleted file, and a text in blue is a changed file. But not everybody can see uh, red and green color. As uh, you can see at the uh, left image, at the uh, right image, somebody can see new and deleted file in uh, yellow and green. Okay? The left, uh, right image. New and deleted file in yellow. This is another example of uh, color blindness. Not everybody can see blue color. As uh, we can see at the uh, right, somebody can see new and change the file in green. So, we cannot rely on colors to represent the formation. We have to provide an installer, also in our contracts, to document how to set uh, user interface in our contracts, and also to provide in a simple way to set text user interface, text user utility, text user interface utility in our contracts. These are features that are useful also for a vision user. We will see more examples later. Low vision and the blindness. World Health Organization estimates 246 million low vision people and 39 million blind people. This is our main site in normal vision. We will see some simulation about low vision. This is an example of patched vision. Another an example of loss of central vision in the center. Okay. Loss of source of visual field.
loss of the visual acuity. And another example of visual acuity with the CFO at uh, less to normal vision, at right loss of visual key acuity. Depending on uh, the low vision type and the level, some user could uh, set font size, uh, set mouse uh, color, shape size, magnify as to Miriam, set field resolution, of course, and so on. Of course, we have to document these features. And after the low vision simulation, blindness. Of course, blind uh, users cannot see the screen. How can they use a computer? Aspirilla. Aspirilla is an aesthetic technology that reads elements on the screen and send out to a speech synthesizer and do a braille display. It works with the operating system under the desktop environment. Screen readers can be useful for low vision people and are needed for blind people. Uh, a speech synthesizer also text to speech is a technology that turns written text into sp in a synthetic speech. We have uh, Coca in port, it just runs. It provides a speech synthesizer and a brain space. We will see a demonstration later. But we have two problems. Coca says it's suitable only for a graphical desktop environment. So a visual impairment users need a sighted person to install and set up the OS and the desktop environment. The second problem is a VTFO and a speech interpreter cannot communicate. So as you can see, VTFO is not accessible without seeing, also for a low vision user. The image at the right. And now a retro sharp display, uh, sorry, a bread display. A bread display is an electronic device with uh, mechanical components for reading and writing uh, uh, braille characters. Uh, we use uh, keys uh, to write braille characters at the image and the dots to read the braille character, but the uh, down image. A braille character is uh, represented by cell matrix. A cell has six dots, three rows and two columns. Nowadays, a cell can have eight dots, four rows and two columns. And you just write. New dots are for computers. For example, the extra dots can indicate where the cursor is in a text editor. This is an example of uh, braille alphabet uh, with the six dots. Actually, this is on only one possible braille alphabet. We will see more later. Just two word for Luis Braille from the Luis Braille uh, web museum website. Luis Braille uh, became, became blind at the school, the Academy Institute for Blind in Paris. At the school, uh, in the school, Luis Braille uh, and the students can uh, read the books. Uh, with the books with the letters in uh, relief, as you can see there. Anyway, uh, students cannot write. Please image to close your eyes and to write without seeing the paper. It is not possible. At 12, at 12 years old, uh, Braille tested a new system by Charles Fabrier de la Serre. He created the dots so students can read and can write. Anyway, this uh, system had uh, some problems. For example, it is only for French phonetic alphabet. No numbers, no dots, no colon, only uh, phonetic alphabet, and so on. Luis Braille improved this uh, system. He reduced the uh, dots for character, so any character can fit under uh, an index finger. He created a complete alphabet with the numbers, uh, numbers, colon, uh, comma, and so on, a complete alphabet. At the image at the left, we can see A and Z in relief characters in a Barbier system, and the last, Braille characters. And at the right, the first uh, Louis Braille original French alphabet. Actually, actually uh, a lot of alphabet uh, system, tactile system for reading and writing were created in the past, but nowadays, Braille is the most used.
nowadays images write characters to a computer by using a keyboard, so some uh, braille display has not got uh, this on the dot, no. so a uh, user can use a normal uh, computer keyboard. The braille display only for read from dot. Braille is not only for French alphabet, for Latin-like alphabet. This is an example of uh, music braille. Maths. Korean braille. Japanese braille. Mainline Chinese braille. And the Taiwanese brain. And it's Unicode. Unicode defines uh, 200 bits patent for brain, so it got sent. It doesn't define a special meaning for each uh, pattern. We use a translation table to translate from uh, blank characters from one to brain. We will see an example later. Skill reader, a skill reader both speech synthesizer and braille display, is a suitable at handling the text, so it is excellent with a command line interface. FreeBSD could be an attractive operating system for visual impaired users because it provides a powerful CLI to set up and deliver the system. But uh, the PCO and the speech synthesizer cannot communicate, and we haven't got a braille display subsystem. This is the roadmap. This roadmap is just a standard board for vision and speech device technologies. The rationale is simple, which are requests from users. So step one is uh, documentation. Why? We have a lot of reports for accessibility, several are for visual disabilities. Just some example, the Orca screen reader. Uh, fourth option is CLI. We will see an example later. The speech, the speech, and the speech synthesizer. And we have a browser. A browser is a, a browser, an editor, a chart, and a Mac client, uh, developed by bland programmers. At the, right, at the left, you can see our website in uh, a graphical uh, browser. At the right, we can see uh, our website in the browser. No color, no icons, no buttons, no images, no only text. We have uh, LibLuis. It is an open source library translator and back translator. It provides libraries, utilities, and uh, several translation tables. This is an example of uh, our discussion in uh, our site. Uh, this uh, table is uh, English, our uh, several tables. This is English, US, the two. It's a table with a uh, transaction. We could use this uh, utility in the uh, next conferences for print accessible uh, flash shoots. And the desktop, uh, desktop environments uh, allow to set up graphical elements, font size, mouse, screen resolution, uh, themes, and so on. Some desktop environment has uh, provided uh, an accessibility menu course, we should document with the features. So the set one is a new accessibility handbook with the vision chapter. It should document uh, the tool we already have. Some possible section of paragraph, of course, a uh, paragraph for height contract, for desktop environments, graphical terminal and the PCO, a chapter for low vision, uh, font size, uh, manufacturing area, screen resolution, for desktop environment and the PCO. And of course, a uh, chapter for blindness, how to install and to use OCA, and the fourth option CLI. Step two is the height contrast. Height contrast can be important for photosensitive, colorblind, and low vision uses, depending on disabilities. The step two is uh, providing uh, text to interface utilities in uh, height contrast. The first task is just install. We have a bad feedback from a user from a social network. How to choose the right colors for white contracts? 
we have a discussion in accessibility, high contracts as a metrics, a volunteer tested and wrote a report uh, available online. The winner is black and white, so we don't rely on color to represent information. Another task is uh, how to provide a simple way to set up the contracts for the SDS goal and uh, two utilities in base. The S dialog has a uh, dynamic uh, theming. Both library and utility allow to set up uh, themes at runtimes. In particular, uh, the utility provides uh, two uh, environment variables, no color, no color, and another variable to select a temp file. So uh, these two variables, no color and uh, 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 the S dialog temp file and uh, contrast file in base, can be a solution, a simple solution also for utilities base, suitable both for VTPO and uh, graphical terminals. Step three is a uh, VTPO read by speech synthesizer. Hans Peter Silaski created VTSP to read the VTPO. By speech synthesizer, it just runs. We have uh, reviews. The idea is a daemon use ZTL to get buffers from VTPO. Then it passes the text to a speech synthesizer. We tested it with uh, the speech, and it tested also the prose. We have a discussion in fabricator. Kernel side can be improved. Some possible solution are needed to drive or adding a new ZTL to VTPO. Of course, I use it like a proof of concept and a starting point, and I hope I review to find the best solution. Step four, a braille display to the system. Uh, BLTTTY, I don't know the pronunciation, is the open source solution for braille displays. Uh, mainly it is a daemon, it reads from the, it reads the Linux console and passes the text to a speech synthesizer. I only took uh, a look at it, it has interesting features. It partly works on X11, uses a need of to no graphical element uh, because uh, BLTTY does not read uh, window title, window title, buttons and so on. It is a bit on Linux under ZTL. I consider to write it from scratch. I think it is uh, the ideal solution. But it has got uh, several drivers. Just for example, in blue, the drivers, and in black, the braille displays. So for this standard pointing, I try to adapt uh, BLTTY for FreeBSD, meaning to use uh, its drivers. Of course, I, we can consider other uh, solution in the future. I haven't got a bread display. They are very expensive, mainly depending on the, the number of uh, cells. I found a cheap device for CPC $199, but they do not deliver to Italy. So for testing, I'll use the BRTTY virtual device. I'll do a call for testing, and I could ask to uh, buy this a device from a blind and long vision FIFA association. Uh, step five is a new accessible uh, CLI suitable for the screen reader. The problem is mainly related to the OS installer, it's all. Our OS installer has a text user interface. Text user interface is a well-known accessibility problem. We have a discussion in accessibility. Screen readers cannot read text user utility. What's the problem? In this terminal, we can see a bare blue background, a dialog, if you type the yes, no, a border, a title of the dialog, a text inside the dialog, hello world, two buttons, focus on the yes button, a black shadow. The problem is the screen reader sees and reads what uh, this uh, text interface is yelling, a terminal full of text. The real problem is semantic. The screen reader just read text without understanding the background, text dialog, borders, title, text inside, two buttons, and where is the focus. These components are just text in a terminal, not like widgets in a graphical libraries. 
So, how to provide an accessible installer? What's the ideal solution? We have a discussion in accessibility for the text interface problem. Screen readers handle text. For example, command line interfaces are the best solution. Is an example of how to do it. I found a paper from Google. It's a study. It confirms a command line interface is suitable for a screen reader. Just uh, we have to avoid uh, a chart, the first image, progress bar, the second image, and the tables, uh, for example, uh, top uh, utility. The top utility. So an accessible installer, the task is uh, translating a text interface dialog to a CLI dialog. Probably I'll write a new utility, a dialog, a simple dialog, as a dialog, a screen reader dialog. Uh, there is the official documentation for on this topic, so I'll use a post option CLI like a proof concept and a starting point. It's a good solution for ports. Let's see. Port collection is a key feature of ports. Usually we run a network between ports, then we see a text user interface dialog. For example, in this case, uh, it's element uh, a title, PMI, uh, three list, one radio list and check list. A list can have a name, select and uh, select with item, focus on item and, and, um, or, and uh, focus on button. Some big ports can have uh, items up and under the screen. Some ports can have an extra button for F5. Of course, uh, this is not accessible. A blind user can't set up uh, ports. We have a discussion in uh, accessibility. I wrote uh, port option CLI after this discussion to provide an accessible uh, solution for ports. It has, uh, it, have, uh, it, it has a positive feedback. A blind uh, developer tested uh, port option CLI with the Linux and an iPhone with a screen reader and a CCH switch totally based on the server. It is in ports. The idea is, uh, of course, a user run may config imports. Then port option CLI prints port name, number of list, and option. A basic CLI allows to navigate a list and select an item. Other commands are in a manual. Let's see a demonstration with uh, port option CLI, SSD terminal and docker. Just a minute, so you do. Please. of the previous example, I added the keys, enter, D for base mode, and for next items, Q for quick escape, a simple command line interface. So 
So step six is uh, an OS install a suitable for NASCAR reader. Adding a button to install, to install new plain text, as you can see in uh, the example. Mainly using uh, the new accessible utilities, is an example. The child language has uh, the partitioner at the left. Anyway, OpenBSD has a CLI partitioner, so it is a tool for uh, tool for context. And to the right is the progress bars. Anyway, the Google Speed has me some tips for unacceptable bars. This will be a proof of our concept because uh, BL, uh, BLTTY and uh, speech synthesizer are under VPL. And I don't know if uh, I can add to BSD Stool a totally different front end from Dialog and this Dialog. Anyway, I won't uh, waste this work. I am designing uh, an installer. It is a personal project. Uh, nothing is an accessibility. Anyway, it will be open source, supports, can exist with the BSD Stool, and it will be multi-frontend. Of course, a frontend for uh, accessibility, a frontend only in plain text, it will be multi-language, multi-mode. I wrote an email to Akers uh, some month ago. Step seven, again documentation. Of course, I documented the uh, new features. Supported accessibility and book from uh, the user's feedback. Probably I'll write a new document in plain text, a manual or a text file, suitable for an SQL reader then, of course. It could be a starting point with uh, basic information and the links to other uh, resources, for blind and low vision users. Okay. This is the roadmap recap. One, an accessibility handbook. Two, uh, text user interface in uh, high contrast. Three, QT4 and a speech synthesizer. Four, a Braille device in the system. Five, a new CLI dialog uh, utility. Six, a uh, proof of our concept of uh, an installer for a skill reader. Seven, again, documentation. The rationale is a feature repos. This roadmap is uh, just a starting point. Accessibility is not an end point, it is a work in progress. Just some uh, idea for the, the future. Of course, I implement this roadmap. Then I present this uh, work to accessibility conference. Some blind, uh, uh, uses the system the mean developer complain no attention, no attention from open source community. Have an idea uh, uh, with the page for bright displays, a screen reader in base, and of course getting uh, providing a feature request from uh, users. I have indeed uh, no, my contacts, uh, my mail, uh, accessibility for public discussion. I'll be in Dublin until Monday. Thank you. Um, uh, I am after this. Uh, I am after this. Are you looking for any particular help or support with this work? Uh, for testing uh, braille devices, some feedback from uh, for blindness. I think to complete in six months. And do you need more accessibility developers or designers? Are you? Do you need any more accessibility designers or developers? I think to complete uh, by myself. And the help comunque uh, is best. So what interests me is what's your general motivation in this or what kind of, <laughs> um, you know, how you got into these kind of topics, which is very interesting and uh, enlightening, like what kind of impairments people have to, you know, um, live with. So what's your, uh, background in all these uh, topics? Uh, because I work on this. Uh, um, 
I started to contributing to FreeBSD five years ago. I maintain uh, ED Browser. A guy from an Australian blind uh, uses uh, wrote me an email, so it motivated me. Twice, uh, two years ago, I had a uh, sudden uh, disability to my hearing, so I understand the uh, disability problems. So I want to help uh, vision people. Uh, we have an accessibility, sorry, <laughs> we have an accessibility mailing list. Lots of uh, people would like to use FreeBSD, but uh, they want uh, a braille system, a speech detector, and so on. <laughs> My first uh, conference, I'm shy. <laughs> uh, I have two questions. The first one is regarding uh, terminal uh, support, uh, so converting the TC, uh, 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 so two-dimensional interface to the one-dimensional one, yeah, basically. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So we, uh, so, so, um, so Unix world had uh, some installers that supports the DAM terminal, for example. So we used to have uh, uh, good support for the so one-dimensional terminal output for the installers, and gradually uh, we shifted from the such a uh, such a boring <laughs> output to the more rich, uh, so for the normal people. So we can uh, probably. Uh, 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 look back to the so old implementation that supports yeah, so the <laughs> one-dimensional one. And it, so that is just a comment. Another one is uh, about the documentation. You mentioned uh, we should have uh, so plain text version or some uh, so plain uh, version of the uh, document, uh, not uh, only, n not only uh, so feature rich uh, graphical representation in the documentation uh, we currently have. But uh, I, I am interested in the, uh, uh, your comment about the, the hyperlink um, is, uh, whether hyperlink is work, uh, it's working for the um, uh, visual, uh, uh, the people with the uh, visual impairing or um, the disabilities. So we can keep the hyperlink things in the even in the plain text, or we have to get rid of the, all of the such a uh, jumping from the uh, document to another. If you create um, a plain text, uh, in the next we should uh, test also images, uh, document the online image for accessibility. Mm -hmm. It is another task. In okay. the future. I am not a web expert. Okay, thank you.